I watched this movie a little over a month after my aunt passed away. My wife and I sat down and put on what we thought was going to be a funny film about a claymation shell. We had never seen the trailer and had no clue what the movie was even going to be about. Don't get me wrong, the movie is hilarious in parts and had Amber and I laughing like crazy, but not a day has passed I don't think about this film and the deeper lessons that it gives us. In the film, we meet a young shell named Marcel, voiced by Jenny Slate. And yes, Marcel does have his shoes on. Like, oh, uh, hello, my name is Marcel. It's not the first time I've done that. My name is Marcel, and I'm partially a shell, as you can see on my body, but I also have shoes and um, a face. So I like that about myself, and I like myself, and I have a lot of other great qualities as well. Marcel lives in an Airbnb with his Nana Connie, and one day an inspiring filmmaker named Dean comes to stay and starts filming Marcel's day-to-day -day life. The movie is filmed through a documentary style, which I think worked perfectly, and helps ground Marcel in reality, who on paper should be really hard to connect with emotionally, but he isn't at all because it's also masterfully done. We see Marcel struggling through everyday tasks and come to learn is because his entire family has disappeared and it really takes a community of shells to get even the simplest task done. Yet, the thing I really took away from this is the gratitude that Marcel still has for his life. And even though his entire family is gone, he's happy to just have his Nana Connie. And he's still able to enjoy the little things in life like a crazin. All right, so we got your basics here. I got a couple of almonds. I have a dozen peanuts. It's basically your dry goods. We got a craisin with raisins, but the craisin sits to the side because it is a treat. Uh we do, however, see times in the film that Marcel struggles with his loss. At least that's how I interpret it. Uh, there's times that Marcel is just quiet and we're supposed to imagine as viewers what Marcel might be reflecting on. Everyone will imagine something different, I suppose. That's what great art is supposed to do. But what Marcel says after these moments is always so positive, as if whatever he was thinking about, he just has to put something better out into the world than those negative thoughts. I guess why I smile a lot. Why? Uh, cause it's worth it. Full spoilers are ahead for this movie, so if you haven't seen it, you really should watch it and then come back uh, to this part of the video later. Over the course of this film, Marcel grows comfortable enough with Dean that he decides to tell him about the most tragic night of his life. And in this scene also came one of the moments that I laughed the most. Uh, he's talking about how Nana Connie and himself are sitting down to watch 60 Minutes and they love it so much they call it the show. And, and when they sit down to watch the show, his family was taken away during an argument had by the couple who used to own the house. Uh, it's this balance of comedy and tragedy that really, that pulled off that really impressed me, honestly. So you really feel bad for Marcel, but at the same time, you're kind of laughing because uh, it's just so such a funny movie. But this really strikes a nerve with Dean and Dean decides, you know what, let's, let's go on YouTube, let's go on the internet and see if we can find your family. So Marcel kind of blows up on YouTube, goes viral, and he gets an email from the 60 Minutes show um, and they want to interview him and, and help him try to find his family. He, but he refuses to do it because Nana Connie's gotten hurt. Some TikTok kids and crap showed up at the house and spooked Nana Connie and now she's not doing so well. Um, and at this point, if Marcel loses Nana Connie, he will have no one left. Uh, Dean is there, but it's an Airbnb and Marcel doesn't know how long he'll, he's going to be there because he's just a guest. So the last thing he wants is someone coming in for this interview and messing with Nana Connie and Nana Connie getting worse. Well, Nana Connie is very stubborn and she's not doing okay, but she's very selfless as well on the same hand. So she wants Marcel to be truly happy and she gets up even through her pain and uses all her energy to give Marcel a perfect day. She tells Marcel she wants him to do the interview and that she's perfectly fine until she finally convinces Marcel that she's she's better. She's not sick anymore. Um, now, Marcel does come to find out that Nana Connie was lying. And he finds out before the interview, but it's too late to back out. Nana Connie doesn't take no for an answer. Um, and the interview comes, and it's a really cool sequence because 
Uh, throughout the film, Marcel and Anna Connie talk about Leslie Stahl, who's the host of 60 Minutes. They idolize Leslie Stahl, and they get to meet her for the first time, and that's cool. And Marcel and Dean get interviewed, and during the same scene, it's cutting to Nana Connie uh, walking into the light and passing away. And this scene is what really got me emotionally. And I know the filmmakers have been through so much in their own life because you can see it, the way that they capture it on their characters. I feel like there's vulnerability in making a movie like this and a movie with like this much emotion and the way they did it. Um, they show Marcel looking for his Anna Connie and there's panic in his voice, but there's also knowing. And when we see Marcel grieving, it, can, it conveys so much emotion because not only is Marcel grieving for Nana Connie, we're grieving too, and maybe not only for Nana Connie, but for all the loss we've experienced in our life as well. The movie ends up capping off with Marcel getting emailed again by 60 Minutes, and they think that they found a lead on where his family might be. So, Marcel does get reunited with his family and pays a beautiful tribute to Nana Connie. And even though Marcel has his family back in the end, you can feel that he's still wishing Nana Connie was there too. Um, he's grateful that this miracle of being reunited has happened, but it's so bittersweet. I don't even understand how they got some of these scenes to work. I just, it's hard to wrap your head around what they pulled off here. It truly is great. The movie just ends in a way that you feel so satisfied with the story you've been told and I'm just grateful that this movie was ever made so I want to say thank you to Jenny Slate and Dean Fletcher Camp for co-creating this character and working on this movie and and uh, putting so much of themselves into it and so much vulnerability into making this uh, Isabella Rosalina does a great job as Nana Connie and the entire cast and crew, the stop motion work, the camera work, it's all fantastic. I've watched tons of behind the scenes on this and I still don't understand how they got some of the shots they pulled off. So, But it's nice to have that movie magic still there and, and not knowing is, is a treat as well. This movie has had a big impact on me. I've watched it three or four times since I first seen it in January and it's March now as I'm editing this. So that's a lot of times for, for me uh, to have watched a movie um, in that short amount of time. So if you like Marcel the Shell, let me know what you think about it in the comments and uh, what it meant to you and what you took away from it. Um, there'll be more video essays to come. I'm not sure on what, but uh, if you like the video, stick around and there'll be more.